Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, we're just gonna be going over some of my favorite treatments for bacterial and fungal infections. Now I recently experienced a few of these bacterial and fungal infections on my discus, which you can see in this tank right here. I was having a couple of issues with them. They were having clamped fins, um, sometimes a little bit of cloudy eye. So I thought I'd just go over um, the way that I treated them and my favorite methods to really cure bacterial and fungal infections in fish. So let's get right into the video. So one of the most important things when treating really any disease or parasite is to catch the symptoms early. Now some of the symptoms for bacterial and fungal infections are cloudy slime coats. So normally slime coats on fish are very clear and clean. So if they have are having issues with the bacteria, the, fung the slime coat will kind of turn this little whitish cloudy color. Um, the fish will have clamped fins where their um, fins are very close to the body. They'll sometimes get a little bit of white speckling and white rashes on their bodies and they'll sometimes start scraping their bodies on like the wood and rocks and different things you have in your tank. With fungus you'll openly see it sometimes there's a thing called fin rot which is basically I believe it's a bacteria actually eating away at the fin of the fish so the fins of the fish will be very tattered and flimsy and the fish do not like any of these bacteria and funguses they really react to them right away They'll kind of hide in the back, they'll stop eating as well, they won't be as active, like I said they'll clamp their fins. Uh, sometimes they kind of swim right at the top of the water. So a lot of these different symptoms you can kind of see with bacterial and fungal infections. Now I was experiencing this with discus, so two of the main symptoms that I saw were rashes in the body, so they were having issues with their slime coat, their slime coat was kind of cloudy instead of clear. A lot of their fins were clamped. There was a little bit of fungus on them. So one of the main reasons that you would generally have a lot of these bacterial and fungal infections is number one, aggression between different fish. What aggression does is it stresses out the fish, which really um, decreases their immune system, which makes them more prone to a lot of these bacteria and funguses. Another one is water quality. So water quality is obviously very, very important to your aquarium and the health of your fish. So if your water quality gets out of whack, if it starts um, degrading, then the fish will also, um, their immune system again will decrease, allowing a lot of these funguses and bacteria that are always in your water to attack the fish. So one of my favorite methods to first of all, um, get rid of a lot of these funguses and bacteria is to catch the symptoms very early. Now, if you catch the symptoms early, you generally won't have to use a lot of these very strong medicines. There's a lot of medicines out there. I personally am not a fan of many of them just because they are very, very strong. Um, they do harm the fish, in my opinion. They do generally get rid of the funguses and the bacteria, but they are very, very strong and the fish sometimes can't tolerate it. And there are many times when the fish's immune system would cure the fungus and bacteria by itself. But because you've added this very strong medicine, their immune system cannot tolerate the medicine and sometimes they perish that way. So I generally like staying away from a lot of these medicines and I like using very natural methods to kind of clear them up. I like trusting the fish's immune system and trying to help promote that immune system. Now my favorite method to first of all, get rid of a lot of these bacterial issues is to keep the water clean. I like doing a lot of water changes, do a lot of water turnover uh, make sure there's very, very little nitrates in the tank. Make sure the fish are being fed. Do everything you can to kind of make the fish happy and healthy and stress-free. Now, if it's caused by aggression, which many times it can be, I would obviously just pull the fish um, that's the aggressor out of the tank and move it to another tank. Um, if it is water quality, doing those water changes and making sure that the water is clean will really, really help solve a lot of your issues. Now, if that still isn't really helping to clean up the issues in the fish, I would start adding salt. Now, one of my favorite um, things to use is definitely salt. It's great for a lot of things. It's great for as a laxative for your fish. It's great to, in very small doses, add minerals to your tank, which the plants really like. Um, it's also really great for treating any bacterial and fungal infections. Now, I like adding one tablespoon for every five gallons. I found that this works great for me. That's actually the specific doses that I use to clear up my discus, which you saw some of the infection in the, um, in the beginning of the video. And in about seven or so days, they were completely clear of the infection. They're doing great. They're eating great. 
So salt is really, really important. Now, what I like doing is first adding a dosage of um, one tablespoon for every five gallons, kind of watching the fish, observing them for the next three or four days. If the infection is still not clearing up or getting better, I would add a second dosage of salt and kind of go from there and determine how much salt you need to add depending on how the fish and the aquarium is reacting to the salt. Now one of the major det detriments to salt is definitely the effect on plants. Salt is not great for plants. Your plants don't like it. A lot of your crips and um, anubias and all these different types of plants really don't like salt. Um, I've had a lot of my crips melt when I've added salt. So that is one of the detriments to the salt. If you don't leave the salt in there too long, if you start turning over the water and removing the salt as quickly as possible, the plants won't really take a big hit. But for me, the, the aquariums are all about the fish. So I am okay with my plants kind of taking a little hit here. But yeah, those are my two favorite methods of um, treating bacterial, light bacterial and fungal infections in fish. I hope this video helped you guys. Um, if it did, definitely like, comment. If you guys have any other questions, clarifying any of the information I said in this video, Definitely leave it in the comments down below. I always try to get through all my comments. And um, yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.